Today I'm going to show you how to do a simple lighting in Geometry Node to create this electric effect. So let's see. Let's hit the camera, the light, go to Geometry Node, let's hide this panel, and this one. Let's create a new profile, delete this, and add a curve line. This will be the base of this electric effect. So now we have this line, and now I'm going to attach an empty at the start and the end, so later we can move this electric effect. So let's create two empties. This one, I'm going to make it smaller, and I'm going to make a copy. Now let's come back here. I'm going to lock this panel, and I'm going to drag this so it's faster. This one here, and this one here. And now we are going to connect one here and another here. So now with this we can control the extremes of this line. Perfect. Now, let's distort this line. So to distort this line, we need set position. But before we need more points. So let's add resample. Now, to distort this, we need to add here in offset a nice texture. I recommend you to use color. Now we can see that the line is working but it's not attached here because always when we add this we need to add vector math in subtract because we need to subtract 0 0.5 in the three axis so this will be in this point. So minus 0 0.5. Perfect. Now let's forget this and here we have the base of this effect. So we can scale this if you want, you can add more detail, play with different values. For example, let's do something like this. By the way, if you want more detail, you need to add more points. For example, something like that. Now you can see better what we are doing. If you don't know what you're doing, select zero and start again. And I recommend you to increase the scale. Now, if you want to animate this, we are going to select 4D, and we are going to use this. So this will be the base effect to create this lighting. So let's add, for example, seconds, and let's press play, and we have this effect. I'm going to, for example, decrease the number of points, so I want it more like that. Little more. And I want faster, so I'm going to connect frame. Perfect. Now let's add some mesh. So curve to mesh. Let's add a profile like a cycle. Let's make it a smaller, something like that. And what I want is not to have the same radius everywhere. So I'm going to add set radius. Set curve radius. And I'm going to play with this, but we need to add spline parameter. Spline parameter, because what we want is to use factor. Because factor adds zero value at the beginning and one at the end. So now here we have one of radius and here zero, and in the middle we have an interpolation. So what I'm going to do is to add float curve, because I want here small, normal, and small. So with this you can invert the effect, as you can see, but what I want is to have both in the bottom and create a point here and make it like that. So in the middle is wider. You can do it like that if you want, or like this, and play with the handles, or add another point, do it like this, however you want. I'm going to leave it like that. Now, if you want to increase this effect, what you have to do is to add after this a multiply. So select multiply, and here you can increase this effect. And now we have this lighting. Let's add some glow. So set material. 
let's select the cube and let's select for example increase this and select blue and go to render activate bloom and obviously go to material view and i think i need to increase this to see the effect why i cannot see that oh, obviously i did not add this material now here we have this electric really simple lighting and the best part is that you can move it how you want by the way if you want to move it and you don't want to see this compressed then you need to go here and select length so now if you set this you are saying that every distance you want like a number of points so you can try to change this to give a different look so if you want less points now it doesn't matter if you increase this but always we have the same look you can decrease it if you want more points And if you want to animate this to repeat it, what you have to do is to add, for example, before this, trim, trim curve. So now, if we animate this, we have this animation. So you can do this effect really fast. Like this, or from the other direction. So, as simple as that is to do this lighting effect. So you can attach this. In another point if you want to create an electric animation between two objects and here you can see the full view of the setup remember the dream curve is optional if you enjoyed this video give a like subscribe and you can download this project and many more in my patreon so see you next video